Hello and thank you for joining. Today's message is peace under King Solomon's rule. The word of God says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his, his inheritance. This is coming from Psalms 33 and 12. But the focus of the lesson today is coming from 1 Kings chapter 4. And this is very interesting. In this book, we understand, in the book of Kings rather, we understand that a lot of the works and um, accounts of King Solomon is has been taken out of another book. And it has been shared with us, what well, bits of it has been shared with us and what we have in the collection of the 66 books in the Bible. So it's really good to know when you're studying what you can reference in addition to the Word of God to get more information because to be honest with you, if all of that information was uh, collected and all the material that give us the 66 books, we would have a whole lot more than 66 books. And the question is how much can we contain to walk around with? That would be a large book. So we thank God for what we do have tangible and it's a blessing again to have the known resources that the Bible tells us that the information came out of, which gives us, us the understanding there is more information to be sought uh, that comes from the Word of God. And it's not something that you are out of order in because the Word is telling you where the account came from. All right. So. The focus again is the peace that was under King Solomon's rule and he was a king for a very long time and in this particular passage I'm going to start at verse 20 because this is where the focus point is through 34 so it says here um, the people of Judah and Israel were as numerous as the sand on the seashore they were very contented with plenty to eat and drink Solomon ruled over all the kingdoms from you from the Euphrates River in the north to the land of the Philistines and the border of Egypt in the south. The conquered peoples of those lands went tri uh, sent tribute money to Solomon and continued to serve him throughout his lifetime. The daily food requirements for Solomon's palace were 150 bushels of choice flour and 300 bushels of meal also 10 oxen from the fattening pens, 20 pasture fed cattle, 100 sheep or goats, as well as deer, gazelles, roe deer, and choice poultry. Solomon's dominion extended over all the kingdoms west of the Euphrates River from Tipsa to Gaza. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? So I'm gonna read that part again because we understand what's going on November the 5th, 2023, um, almost a month, we're coming up on a month of what happened in Israel. So this tells us right here that how much uh, land that Solomon was rule over. And he there was peace during his, um, his rule, his rulership. And with that being said, the extent that, the extension of his rule was, as you can see, all the way through to Gaza. Now we know that where there was a time where Israel was not occupying any land, the Israelites rather were not occupying any land in that area, uh, but God blessed them to be able to have a state again. But let me read this again, this part, verse 24. Solomon's dominion extended over all the kingdoms west of the Euphrates River from Tip Sa to Gaza. And there was peace on all his borders. Okay? During the lifetime of Solomon, all of Judah and Israel lived in peace and safety. And Dan, I'm sorry, and from Dan in the north to Bathsheba in the south, each family had its own home and garden. Let me stress how this is so awesome. Focus on this part right here, verse 25. It says, during the lifetime of Solomon, all of Judah, okay, and Israel lived in peace and safety. And from Dan, 
in the north to Bathsheba in the south. Each family had its own home and garden. They were able to be self-sustained off of what God had blessed them with to have their own garden. Solomon had 4,000 stalls for his chariot horses and he had 12,000 horses. The district governors faithfully provided food for King Solomon and his court. Each made sure nothing was lacking during the month assigned to him. They also brought the, necess the necessary barley and straw for the royal horses in the stables. God gave Solomon very great wisdom and understanding and knowledge as vast as the sands of the seashore. In fact, his wisdom exceeded that of all the wise men of the East and the wise men of Egypt. He was wiser than anyone else, including Ethan, the Ezraite, and the sons of Mahol, Heman, Kalkol, and Dada. His fame spread throughout all the surrounding nations. He composed some 3,000 proverbs and 1,005 songs. He could speak with authority about all kinds of plants, from the great cedar of Lebanon mm, to the tiny hyssop that grows from cracks in a wall. He could also speak about animals, birds, small creatures, and fish. And kings from every nation sent their ambassadors to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. Wow! that part. I really want you to understand that this is gold right here. This information is gold because it lets us know that God's people were extremely blessed. Israel was on point. They had peace for a very long time under Solomon's rule and he ruled about 40 years. I believe he ruled exactly 40 years. And when you have a man of God who is obedient to God in that, in that aspect, who's covering that much territory, it is exciting to be able to read and know that there was a time where Israel was really blessed. And you know what? That's not the first time, of course. God has given Israel peace on many occasions. But what happened is they kept turning away from God's rule. And when that happened, the Lord allowed warfare to come in. And then when they cried out to God, he um, sent them someone to help them out. And then they had peace again. But it was in the peace again when they started turning away from the Lord and worshiping other gods. But this is a time that is great to reflect on considering what's going on right now. We should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because first of all, that's the throne room or well, the throne city when Jesus will come back to the earth and set up camp. And not just Jesus alone. He's going to bring, he said in his word, 10,000s of saints to rule with him. And if you really understand the history behind all of this, of what's going on, and I help you be able to um have a sensitivity and not be so not be critical of the overall situation but be prayerful okay be prayerful not critical God is God he has the last say pray his will and if you pray in his will it should be done and until the next time you sit with me God bless you enjoy your tea